What's up, kids? Happy Thursday morning. Um, sorry, I'm hustling in the studio this morning. But I just got back from the gym. Great day out in Memphis, too. Oh, my gosh. Like, I don't know. It's 69 today and sunny. Going to the gym and then to Starbucks in our area, uh, things are kind of opening back up. You got to be outside a lot of Starbucks. They don't let sit inside. That's great. Oh, man. Is it great to get back? <sighs> Even wearing a mask in the gym the whole time. It's kind of good oxygen training, right? I don't know. Anyway, super freaking great to be back doing things. Wow. Okay, let's talk about, while well, I'm getting set up here, um, let me grab my computer actually as well. I'm just kind of rushing in here at the last minute. Y'all are getting a little backstage tour here. Um, let's talk about publishing every day. So this concept has been around for a while. And, and people say, experts say, if you're building your audience, if you're trying to figure out who you're helping and what kind of transformation you're giving them. Publishing every day builds an audience, right? You can go live on your Facebook group, your your personal profile. Um, if you're a writer, you can vlog. You can blog every day. If you're a video person, you can vlog every day. If you want to do a YouTube channel, you could do something professional vlogging every day. Um, Clubhouse every day, whatever. Publishing daily, Instagram, whatever you want to do. Publishing daily it doesn't have to be super intense. It could be just a quick post. It could be a long, drawn out conversation, whatever. Publishing every day actually makes a difference. Here's some truth and some lies about it, though. So I started publishing every day a couple of years ago. Um, I think, I don't know, a couple of years ago? I'm trying to figure this out on the timelines. Everything kind of ran together, right, after um, after 2020. But here's the, here's the thing. Publishing every day is not a magic trick that makes you successful. I've heard some speakers kind of pitch it as that, but it, it's not. And publishing every day, seven days a week can get exhausting, all right? So I just want to quickly say, when you think publishing, what's up, Stacey? When you think publishing every day, don't think seven days a week, I got to go do this, all right? Think like five days a week. I started out doing seven days a week when I was first starting out trying to figure out what my market was going to be like. And that eventually emotionally exhausts you. You put a lot out when you're when you're publishing every day. Um, right now, I'm emoting. I'm putting my my thoughts and feelings out there for you guys to see. That actually takes some some emotional credits out of the bank, so to speak. All right, nothing wrong with that, but doing it seven days a week can get exhausting. When I first started publishing every day, I was like all in. So for like I don't know two or three months, I did it seven days a week, and then I realized I'm going to collapse and be able to not like go on. It's going to be a hard stop. So I backed off the weekends. It was so helpful just to get some days where you don't have to be on camera. You don't have to worry about anything. Here's, here's some truth about publishing every day. Publishing every day actually works, okay? There's a couple things that happen when you publish every day. If you're doing live video like this, I would strongly encourage you to do live video if you're going to publish every day. If you're a writer, if you're a copywriter by trade, then publishing every day by doing copywriting might be really helpful. But I would still try to jump on multiple times a week during your publish every day routine and go live. Here's what happens when you are forced to go live every day. A couple things. Obviously, you start building an audience, right? People who are attracted to you, the way you talk, the way you emote, the person you are, they start showing up and following along. It's kind of interesting. It also clarifies who you are. When I first started publishing every day, y'all can actually go look at this. I, I don't delete anything off of my social media platforms. Like, you could go back in my personal Facebook profile into 2018, 19, those ranges, and you'll see me publishing every day. And it's it's a mess. Oh my gosh, it's embarrassing. But I'm, I leave it there because it's a journey, right? It's real. Um, we'd be on vacations. You, you could see us like um, even going through like we spent a summer in Europe a few years ago and just like me like intentionally kind of in an awkward way setting up the shot so that it looks cool that like the background is there and you know the classic pose in front of the Ferrari kind of marketing. You find yourself, right? When you're publishing every day, you start to figure out who am I? What am I comfortable doing? What am I not comfortable doing? I'm, as you all know, y'all see me here all the time. I'm not one of those super excitable, just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe what happened today. That's that's not me, right? I used to think I had to be that to be someone people would want to follow on any kind of platform. It's just simply not true. 
There are so many people in the world that want to follow those super excitable types. There's people who want to follow the really quiet people. There's people that want, what's up, Kyle? Um, Kyle, good to see you, man. There's people who want to follow people like you. Bottom line is being you really matters because there is a, there's a lot of people on the planet who want to hang out with someone like you. You might not believe it, but it's true. It really is. And then they want to hang out with somebody like you who also knows your expertise. So publishing every day, yeah, it builds an audience. It also allows you to start anchoring in on who you are as you tell your story, emote more, just get used to it, kind of get over the hurdles of it. And I'm talking about live. If you can do live, it also allows you to get good at staring at the camera versus staring. Like right now I'm staring at myself on the, on the screen, staring at camera. There's like little technical tool tips that you start learning as you start rewatching yourself and figuring out what you did right or wrong. And then lastly, and I think this is probably the most important piece of this. It gets you in a rhythm of hearing and understanding what your market really wants. Going live or even, you know, producing something and releasing it every day, it gives you so many reps, so many times around the block where you're going to learn over and over and over what's working, what's not working in your market. And I don't mean did this post or topic work? Did it zing? Did my headline work? I mean, you're going to get interaction. People are going to actually tell you what's going on. People leave a ton of questions in this Facebook group. Tons of questions. They send them to me individually. They send, in, they drop them in the group. We post some. We don't post some. Some we just gather up and try to answer them. You're going to learn so much. I still do this three times a week live in this Facebook group because I want to help and I want to answer questions. And just the amount of information that we have as an organization coming in because we've chosen to publish on such a frequent basis makes a huge difference. Um, we get to learn what's really going on out there in the space that we serve. And that's a really cool thing. That's kind of a really unique opportunity to get to do that. While we're talking, I need to go ahead and start setting up um, my my setup here. I'm teaching in our mastermind group here live in a few minutes. And I, <laughs> I need to be ready for that, right? Um, so here's here's the thing. When you're publishing live, Oh, look at me now. You don't have to be, you don't have to be everything perfect when you're going live. Uh, I'm doing real stuff while I'm doing this. You don't have to set aside a time of day that like it's going to anchor in. At first you probably will. You're going to get your lighting right, your hair right, all that kind of stuff. Just show up and be you and talk to the camera and share your expertise and get to know the people that you serve. I don't want to oversimplify it, but I kind of do want to let you know it's really that simple. Going live and publishing on a regular basis is extremely powerful. You will change personally. You will understand your market better. You'll begin to change how you present, how you're comfortable with your own self on camera, and you'll begin to learn your own voice. Um, it's not about sending people through a funnel. It's not about you know getting people to buy something. It's not about pitching and selling every day on camera or writing the best headline, just doing it allows you to experiment and allows you to understand and grow in the market. It's a lot like experimenting and growing in, let's say, shopping for a car. Easy, super easy example. Shopping for a car, as you all know, or a bike or a skateboard or that cool new cashmere jacket you want to have that's just three brands that do it just the way you want it and you're just trying to get down to it. You are constantly researching, reading, figuring out, let's go back to the car analogy, what vehicle you want, what kind of seats you want. You got two models narrowed down. Then you start looking at prices. Then you start realizing there's cheaper prices in certain areas of the country. What if I traveled to get there? Can I fly there and save enough money? You're constantly thinking that stuff through. What's happening in that sequence of learning is you're, you're researching every day how to buy a car, right? But you eventually get very good at spotting a deal. Then all of a sudden a car pops up and you're like, oh my gosh, that's, that's, an, awesome, that's an awesome deal. Everything in, inside, outside is right. That's slightly below the regular price. I should jump on it quick. That's what happens when you publish every day. You start to get good at seeing what's going on out there in the world around you. It gives you experience. And it gives you a chance to understand what's really happening. And that's a really cool thing. Not many people take the time to research their work the way they do a vacation or a major purchase. 
we think we want results from our work. We want to plant the fruit tree. And then like two weeks later, we want to start yielding fruit. It doesn't work that way. You plant the fruit tree and then you nurture it and grow it. And this publishing everyday thing, it really does work. So yeah, I am a fan of publishing every day when you're starting off. I did it for a year or two. I'd, I'd say a year. Um, and, and then backed it off to four days a week. And now I do three days a week. And I don't think I'll ever go below three days a week. I, I say that I might go to two days a week. I don't know, but, but it's the, it's the activity that, that I like. It's the staying after that I like. It's like a workout. If you start slacking off, you start getting a little less sharp. I've noticed that when I've gone down to one day or two days a week, at kind of experimenting for my schedule, that I would get a little less sharp um, on my communication skills and in the market and stuff like that. So fan of publishing every day. Don't do it seven days a week. It'll completely suck the life out of you. Go for five days a week. Show up. Keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Don't overproduce it. If Unless you're a huge production person. If it's easy for you to produce something super shiny, go for it. Nothing wrong with that. It's just a matter of, is it going to drain you? Is the production going to drain you? If it is, back the production down and just show up. I, I shifted to more and more live as I started publishing every day because it became obvious that that was the skill set I needed to grow in. And it was obvious that it was the simplest thing to do. Just turning on the camera and going for it. You'll learn a lot about you. You'll become more you. And you'll learn that, that there are people out there who really want to hang out with you. And that is really, really important to understand as a person. We all need to hear that. All right, kids. That's it for me. I'm going to load up my presentation here for our mastermind group and scroll through that real quick to make sure I'm on top of it. Have a great Thursday. Be yourself. Lean into who you really are. Lean into yourself. All right. You've got this. Who you are is fantastic. And what you know is amazing. And put those two things together and show up and deliver regardless of who's watching. Right now when I'm recording this, it's all it's going between zero and three people watching at a time. That's okay. Some days it's a lot, some days a little. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you show up every day. People watch the replays, all that, that's cool. What matters is that you show up every day and do your part. That's what matters. You're growing you and you're being authentic. All right, that's all I got. Get after it. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Be yourself. Bye, kids.